Today we wanted to talk to you a little bit about the framing of your basement. How we at Renaduck do it is a little bit different from majority of the competition. There is typically a couple of ways how you can frame the basement. Some of the contractors, a little bit more old school contractors, that will use a little bit more of a traditional framing. They're going to use a 2 by 4 so wooden top plate and wooden bottom plate. Typically basements have a higher humidity levels than, than the rest of the house. So what happens with wood, it's going to start warping. So um, effectively, if you're going to be using the top plate and the bottom plate as wood, they're going to be sitting there very, very solid. And because they're sitting there very, very solid, there is actually no room to expand and contract. So when the wood is going to start expanding or contracting, it's effectively going to start to warp. And if the wood, if your two by fours are going to start to warp, they're going to start warping your drywall. And if they're going to start warping your drywall, it's going to start cracking the seams and the joints between the pieces of drywall. What we do to remove that issue is actually to use the top and bottom track as metal tracks. First of all, they don't expand, they don't contract. And the other great thing about it, once it's attached to the bottom metal track, as well as the top metal track, there's actually a small gap over there, sometimes a quarter of an inch, sometimes a little bit less, sometimes a little bit more, that gives it a little bit of room for the wood to expand and contract without actually warping out because it has some room to breathe up and down, so it has some room to, to move. 